The Earth's atmosphere is a thin envelope of gases surrounding the solar planet, the hydrosphere, and the biosphere. This turbulent gaseous blanket that covers the Earth is where weather changes take place. And as humans develop more interest in the atmosphere and outer space, we slowly expand our investigations further into the galaxies. Yet due to distance effects, most of our mission took place within our planet's atmospheric fields, such as launching meteorological satellites into orbits of Earth to create accurate weather reports. So here we are trying to get a deeper understanding on how our country, Taiwan, has well contributed to the world in this field. I'm Evelyn and this is my team. And hi, I'm Adrian. And I'm Ryder. There's an ongoing project called Formosat 7 that is a follow-on program to the successful Formosat 3 program. Within this collaborative space program between Taiwan and U.S., Designated representative for Taiwan NASPO is responsible for design and integration of mission systems, development of six spacecraft, and constellation mission operations. The United States is responsible for satellite launches, payloads, and deployment of global ground receiving stations. After the launches, data processing and application of six mission satellites of Formosat 7 contain TGRS, IVM, and RFB. These payloads on the satellite work together in order to give us the important data needed for weather analysis, including the type of ion, concentration, speed, and temperature, which are all essential for accurate analysis. These operations not only require a strong hardware, but also an excellent cooperation between Taiwan and the U.S. As we mentioned, NASPO is responsible for satellite operations, control center, and orbit operations, while the U.S. is responsible for deployment of stations in places around the world. These actions allow a great cooperation to occur between the U.S. and Taiwan, enabling an average update rate of 30 minutes per update. Both Taiwan and the U.S. have established data processing centers to support system monitoring, data management, and user services for the radio oxidation meteorological satellite constellation. For further research, National Applied Research Laboratories combines the research and development energy of NCU and CWB to establish a localized occultation data application system to improve the forecasting ability of severe weather and reduce the uncertainty of disaster warnings. On the other hand, the Ionospheric Space Weather Forecast Module developed by NCKU carry out routine operations of space weather forecasts with the same function as general weather forecast, reducing the loss in national defense and people's livelihood. There's an ongoing project called Formosat 7 that is a follow-on program to the successful Formosat 3 program. Within this collaborative space program between Taiwan and U.S., designated representative for Taiwan NASPO, is responsible for design and integration of mission systems, development of six spacecraft, and constellation mission operations. The United States is responsible for satellite launches, payloads, and deployment of global ground receiving stations. After the launches, data processing and application technology are developed by both sides and cooperation. The six mission satellites of Formosat 7 contain TGRS, IVM, and RFB. These payloads on the satellite work together in order to give us the important data needed for weather analysis, including the type of ion, concentration, speed, and temperature, which are all essential for accurate analysis. These operations not only require a strong hardware, but also an excellent cooperation between Taiwan and the U.S.